Ever wondered if you can customize VS Code with JavaScript? Well, in this video, I'll show you how. What is going on, everyone? My name is James Q. Quick, and I do weekly web development related tutorials on this channel. And today I'm kicking off a new series of videos called Quick Hacks. And this is where I take a few minutes to build something quick to hack something quick. It's gonna be kind of random, but I think it will be stuff that you enjoy. Let me know in the comments if you do. So in this video, like I said, I'm gonna show you how you can customize VS Code using JavaScript. Now this is something I've done on my Twitch channel, which you should check out if you wanna see some live coding, but I've got an interaction where people can send a message in chat or send a command in chat and that will be picked up by a Twitch bot that I run and it will set my theme in VS Code to a random theme. So I figured how about we take that in just a few minutes and show you how to do it with JavaScript. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so one bit of reference for you if you wanna follow along, I've got a, a package on NPM, but also a GitHub repository that I'll link to below called JQQ Stream Utils. Inside of the source directory, I've got a VS Code file here that'll show you kind of the majority of what we need to know. So we'll kind of replicate this, I'll explain it, we'll walk through it, and we'll go from there. Now the one thing we will need is the path for your settings file in VS Code, because the settings file in VS Code is basically a JSON file. So what you can do, if you know the path to that file, you can import that file into JavaScript, treat it like a JavaScript object, update some sort of property, and then save that file back to the operating system and you've changed, you've customized or changed your theme in this case. So you'll need to find out where that path is. And I'll put a link to this uh, settings documentation on VS Code for where you can find that path. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, start to set this up. So I'm gonna initialize this as in as a JavaScript repository with npm init dash y. We'll create a new file called app.js. And we're gonna to need to require a couple of things in here. We're gonna to need to require the FS module in Node, which is uh, the file system module. So we'll require FS. All right, so we'll do that. And then we're also gonna need uh, a path for our VS Code settings. So you'll have to find that out on your own. Mine is the slash users slash James you quick library application support code user settings.json. So that's where my path in is and that's what we're gonna do. And then we can uh, just do a require. So we can say settings equals require path. And what that should give us if we log this out is just the JSON object uh, representing our, um, our settings in VS Code. So I'm gonna use a program or a, a package called NodeMon. You can install this globally with npm install dash G and then NodeMon. And what this will do is allow us to run this file, this app.js in Node, but have it live reload every time we save the file. So we can uh, do NodeMon and then app.js. And hopefully what we'll see is we'll see our settings are logged out here. So this is our JavaScript, our JSON object representation of our settings of VS Code. Now, the next thing you need to know is actually know which one of the settings is your theme. And I could scroll through here and we could look for it somewhere. Right? It's hard to tell in that part, but the uh, code for this is the workbench color theme. So what we can do is we can say, we can take our settings and we can set uh, the workbench.color theme and we can set it to something. Now, then we need a name of a theme. I don't even know what theme I'm using right now. So let's look at color theme. Right now I'm on Cobalt 2. Let's switch it up to, uh, this, is, this is a pretty aggressive one, the hot dog stand theme. So hot dog stand, yeah, I think that should be good. So what this will do is this will uh, import or uh, grab the information from our settings into a JavaScript object, update that property, and you might've expected this to actually change the theme, but we have to now save that file back to, uh, back to the operating system. So that's the one thing that we're missing here. So we can take our FS module, fs.write file, and we can do this synchronously, it doesn't really matter. And we're gonna take uh, the path that we had before. So we're gonna reuse that path, and then we're going to stringify our settings. All right, so we'll do this. So this is gonna take that JavaScript object, which is settings. It's gonna stringify that thing to a JSON string, and it's gonna write that to the path that we're already working with. So if we're lucky and we save this, it should update 
this color theme to the hot dog stand, which you'll see in a second is not that nice. All right, so let's save it. And uh, it's gross. It freaks me out, but it's kind of cool that it works. Another one that I like is the code stacker theme. Got to make sure I get the spelling right here. Code stacker theme. So this is one from uh, Jesse from the code stacker YouTube channel that you might recognize. There's also what's another good one. The level up theme from Scott Talinsky. Shout out to Scott Talinsky and level up tutorials. There is shades of purple from Ahmad Oase. That one's really cool. What's another one in here? Uh, the night owl theme from Sarah Drasner. These are some of my favorite themes, but really quickly in just a few minutes, this is how we can customize the theme in VS Code. You'd be using JavaScript, but keep in mind, you can change any of these other settings as well. So from JavaScript, you can completely customize your VS Code as much as you want. You can change any of the settings that you want with just a few lines of JavaScript. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this first episode in this series called Quick Hacks. I wanna make sure to do more of these. So let me know in the comments what kind of hacks you would like to see in the future and I'll make sure to get them out. At the end of my videos, I wanna do also community shout outs with some other content creators. And I wanna shout out Amy Dutton, who has an awesome YouTube channel called Self Teach Me. I'll link to that in the description below as well. And she does awesome videos on SVGs, hamburger buttons, all sorts of really cool stuff that you should check out. So make sure to check her out. And lastly, we started, Amy Dutton and I, a podcast together called Compressed FM. So go and check that out at Compressed FM. You can find it on wherever you listen to podcasts. We'd appreciate the support if you uh, give it a listen and try it out. Let us know what you think. In the meantime, thanks as always for checking out the video and I'll catch you next time.